Hello everyone and welcome to Catherine's Creatures. This is episode 31 and this is a series where I get a touch base on various beast beings, creatures and the like pulled from mythologies or folklore worldwide. And I always like to preface by saying that I know I'm not a linguist, so I can almost guarantee at some point I'm going to mispronounce something. I'm aware, I try to do my best and I apologize in advance. And um, actually kind of a little secondary side note before we get into it. Um, when I discovered this particular being out of folklore, I, it, it made me chuckle because it has a lot of similar, well, it has a similarity to the one from last episode last week, and I'll get to that in a moment. But this week's being uh, is going to be the Lesnik, sometimes pronounced, oh, and here's where I'm going to mess it up, um, Leshii, or Leshi or Lesovic. There we go. So there are different kind of words um, depending on um, where you are in the Slavic region um, for this entity, but it's typically a humanoid looking being, male. Uh, there are female counterparts in some lore. Um, they're sometimes referred to as the wife or wives of them. Uh, the, and there the wife is called Lesovica. There you go, got it. But not all, that's not always the case. And the fun thing about, well, the Lesniks are they're again these male entities, they're four spirits, they share some similarities to kind of more the Celtic Fae, the mischievous Fae aspects, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, going back to the description, again, they're these um, commanding presences. They have, I guess, blue blood running through them, which gives them a blue cast to their cheeks. They have these very vivid, piercing green eyes and pale, pale flesh. Um, their hair and their beards are actually formed out of vines and grass. So in that sense, it's kind of like the green men lore, but another creature for another day. Um, again, going back to the concept that these are forced spirits. And it is their power to actually c command the migration of the forest animals. They are, again, these uh, protectors of wildlife and protectors of the forest themselves. And they have this kind of awesome power that kind of goes into that right of being a forest spirit um, entity. Actually, humans can become friends with the Lesniks and um, in doing so have the chance to learn all about magic, which is pretty cool that uh, these kind of primordial entities are willing to share that knowledge with mankind. Um, many times in the mythos, uh, shepherds or farmers would make packs with the Lesniks, trying to um, make sure their animals and their lands are protected and watched over and cared for by these beneficent creatures. Um, on the darker side, they do have a couple traits, which again go to when I was mentioning about that mischievous, that kind of the gray area of good and evil entities. And the couple of things that they are known for that are on the darker notes are the fact that they have tendencies sometimes to lure people into the forest, get them lost, and then going back kind of like last week, I think this is a great line of thought. Um, they will tickle a person to death in the forest. Again, I love that. <laughs> a way to go down, being tickled to death um, in the forest. And in order to counteract this problem, people will wear their clothes upside down. That's what the lore said. I'm still trying to figure this one out, if that means pants and top, or if that means just flipping things more inside out. I really don't know that specific. If anybody else knows, please clarify, because all the notes I saw were wearing clothes upside down. But with that said, in doing so, it's supposed to counteract their power over you and they can't lure you away. And then of course they can't tickle you to death. Another thing that they are known for is sometimes ch child abduction. Though in certain cases of the child abduction, it's because the children were cursed actually by family members and in a sense, the Lesnik goes and get these 
gathers these cursed children, takes them to the forest to live with the forest people, and remove them far away from their um, evil family. So again, they're kind of this gray area. They can do really good things, they can do some very bad things, and they can do some questionable things, but either way, the Lesnick, these kind of forced entities, are, I don't know, I think they're pretty cool. And other lore says they have some magical powers that they can change their shape a little bit in the size, in the height and size proportions. Um, I don't know for what purpose though, but that is another ability they can do. And the last thing I have, which I thought was also kind of thing, if two, I guess they're very independent because if two lesnik males come in contact with each other, all of a sudden they will wreak havoc throughout the forest and cause animals to flee and trees to fall down and um, crash all around. And I don't know why these beings who are supposed to be protectors of the forest, when they come in contact with another one, act out, but they do. And so that's just a little bit of some Slavic folklore and myth. So there you go. I, I, I am learning about it. I'm very unfamiliar with the Slavic area of myth and folklore and mythology so anytime i find these kind of little tidbits i think they're pretty cool anywho if you have a question for me about this or anything else post them in the comments below or message me on social media and until next time skull